hello guys in this video i'll be showing you how you can send any crypto asset from binance or any exchange you are using to trust wallet and i'm making this video because i'll be making videos in which we'll be using trust wallet a lot and of course you can make free money for yourself so i think it will be necessary to first make videos or how you can use binance or any crypto exchange in order to deposit to a uh, trust wallet and from then we can be able to do our transactions and make money for ourselves okay so without wasting your time i'm quickly going to show you how this is done first you have to have money on your binance account so let me go to binance and uh, let's see how much i have in my account you can have bnb you can have usdt uh, you can have any crypto asset and then you send it to trust wallet now binance is a centralized exchange whereas trust wallet is a decentralized exchange okay so um how that works is binance actually will get your information you need to do kyc on binance for you to be able to use binance but on trust wallet it is decentralized so it doesn't have uh any location actually so because of that you don't really need to put in any of your details with just uh some very few informations you are good to go with uh uh, 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 a trust wallet okay so uh, with that being said let me quickly show you my wallet on binance and uh, on my wallet we have the overview and outside the overview we have this port okay and you can see on that spot this is where you are going to see the uh, cryptos you have you can also have them on funding you can have them on margin future or you can have them on hand so these are different wallets we have but on your trust wallet sorry on your spot wallet is actually where you need to have your assets for us to be able to send it or withdraw for us to be able to withdraw it or when it is being received that's where it will be received to your spot wallet okay so now i have uh 0.0849 bnp which is equivalent to 25 dollar 77 cents like you can see okay so if i want to send this over to buy uh, from binance and i want to send it over to trust wallet how do i go about it okay so let me quickly show you how you can do this now we will be withdrawing actually we'll be withdrawing from binance and we're sending it over to trust wallet right okay so i'll click on the bnb that i have okay and some people might ask how do you even have bnb okay let's say if you are in nigeria of course you know uh, 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 cryptocurrency is not accepted so you will have to go to your p2p and go and uh, fund your wallet first okay so p2p if i click on p2p you come here and you can come right here to buy uh with your nigerian naira and if you are not in nigeria any country you are you can just select the country and then select the currency of the country and you will see merchants that are actually selling so you can click on buy you transfer the money to the person and you get the crypto asset okay so in nigeria currently now for you to buy you buy a seven hundred forty seven naira per one usdt depending on the amount you want to buy the amount of usdt you want to buy that would tell you the total amount you'll be paying okay so i don't want to waste time on this because i know a lot of people should know that so if you buy usdt for example you can just come to trade here okay after buying the usdt you will have it in your funding and then you need to transfer it from funding you can see from funding to sports wallet and then you select the crypto asset let's say usdt or bnb anyone you bought you just select it click the maximum amount or the amount and it will send it you click on confirm transfer so it's going to send the usdt or the usdt you just bought or any asset you bought and send it to the spot wallet okay just click on confirm transfer so now after that you will now come to spot wallet and you have it on that spot wallet and from spot wallet you can now send it over to your trust wallet okay so let's say you have usdt but you don't want to send usdt to trust wallet instead you want to send bnb to trust wallet just come over to trade here yeah? and on the trade come right at the top here and select uh, bnb type, type bnb and you have bnb usdt click on it now you want to buy usdt or you want to sell usdt of course you have this usdt and you want to use it to buy bnb so you just click on uh buy you are going to buy bnb okay so now put in this is the amount three dollar three point three zero three point three dollar okay for one bnb so you just come right here and you type in the amount of usdt you have let's say you have 100 usdt it will tell you the amount of bnb you will get which is uh 0.329 okay and then you click on buy and your usdt will be converted to bnb that is if you want to convert it to bnb but if you don't want to convert it you can just send your usdt directly to trust wallet now let's say we want to use bnb like i want to use in this example i'll click on bnb okay from my spot wallet and right here what do i want to do i want to withdraw it i'll be withdrawing it from binance and sending it over to trust wallet so i click on withdraw <coughs> Now say send fiat crypto network okay i'm not using email so crypto network 
And right here is telling me to input the address. That's my trust wallet address where I will be sending it to. Okay. So I need to go to trust wallet. Let me just go and look for my trust wallet. Okay. I have the app here. And if you don't have it, you can just go to Google Play Store, download it, and then keep your uh, secret freeze. Okay. Keep it very, very safe. Okay. So I have it right here. And what I want to do now is I want to send it over to uh, to uh, Trust Wallet. Okay, so on Trust Wallet here, I was searching for BNB. You see, I have two BNB. I have the BNB, uh, the normal BNB, and I have the smart chain BNB. Okay, so if you don't have it, just come over to the search button at the top here and search for BNB. Okay, it's going to give you the two types. You see, I've put it on. That's why I'm showing on my dashboard. I have put it on already. Now, the two of them are different. Like, for example, if I select the first one here, you will see if I let it just load, if I select uh, receive. Is showing me that send only BNB to this address, okay? Send another coin may result in permanent loss, okay? If I select the second one, you see the second one here, which is the smart chain BNB, and uh, I click on receive, it's going to tell me that send only smart chain BNB here, okay? So if I will be sending it to this particular BNB, that means it will be smart chain, I will select the smart chain network, okay? So let me go back from here, let me go back from here, okay? So uh, since I'm actually using the smart chain, let me click on the smart chain. Okay, so I want to receive, so I click on receive, and I, I'm going to use matching, and I copy this, so I need to copy this address, ending with AA7, so I copy, okay, I've copied that, so I go back to my Binance, and right here I need to paste, okay, so I paste the address, and you can see BNB smashing, BNB smashing automatically, if it doesn't bring this matching, you can just come here, <coughs> and select anyone, Okay, but you see what we actually selected is the smart chain. The second one is the BP, uh, Bitcoin chain. And the fee we'll be spending is 0 0.15. If we are to send USDT, we'll be using around 0 0.8, which is 8 cents. So this is far cheaper. Okay, so I confirm. And right here, which amount I want to put maximum. Okay, and then you can see spot wallet is from my spot wallet. And it's saying that I, I have up to 8 million that I can do per day. Okay, no problem. So the dash fee, you can just see as is. So I click on withdraw. Okay. So now it's saying that network BNB is matching. Yes, the address is correct. And the coin is BNB and everything is fine. So ensure that the address is correct. And on the same network, transactions cannot be canceled. So I just need to click on confirm. Okay. So I'm waiting for it to just load that up for me. Okay, click on confirm. It's loading. Okay, it's telling me to do ver security verification. And I've done that. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, so we're drawing the withdrawal processing, and this amount of BNB is actually going on. So let's see what happens. I just need to wait for some minutes. Okay, in order for this to be uh, completed, so I can view history right here. Can view history, and you can see it's currently processing. I have this amount processing. Okay, so let's just see when it's done, then I can continue with the video. Okay, so this has been completed, like you can see, uh, the information has been completed, and 0 0.0844. Has actually been uh, has actually uh, been sent, so I can save address if I want. Okay, so I can just put in the platform name and the rest. But let me just let me just not save it. So that has been completed. So since this has been completed now, the next thing is for me to go to Trust Wallet. Okay, so let me go to. Okay, if I even refresh this, you can see I no longer have BNB here. I no longer have BNB here, so I can go over to my Trust Wallet. And right here, I want to see. Okay, I go back and then see. I can just go back from here as well. Go back from here. And right here, I can refresh. Okay, so I now have it. You can see, and I have the smart chain BNB and it's having 25. Uh, 0.63 dollar worth of BNB, which is now 0 0.0844 BNB. Okay, so now that I have this BNB, I've received it and it is in my wallet. That is how simple it is to send crypto assets, BNB or any other assets from Binance to a trust wallet.
okay i will still make another video on how you can withdraw from uh trust wallet to your binance account on this note i'll be closing and saying to you see you in my next video and bye for now